Good evening, everyone. This is Mr. Christopher Fu. I'm here to share about an interesting website that can be used to generate crossword puzzle. This will be helpful for topics that require students to remember many key terms or spelling. I found this generator very helpful to help my weak students in remembering specific spellings and key words or terms in the topic. Currently, I'm teaching a student who is taking set three biology at N level. Uh, she is not very motivated in science and have difficulty remembering key terms. However, she's very engaged when it comes to playing games. Uh, crossword puzzle is one of the activity that could engage her. I tried it successfully with her and I'm still waiting to see how she has improved in her learning. So I'm going to demonstrate the way to generate this crossword puzzle using this app on this website. I will share this link on the video below so that you can click the link and use it. But just to take note that it, if you want to try it for free, you can only generate one puzzle per day. So if you have multiple uh, accounts from Google or Facebook, you can generate more than one crossword puzzle. Okay, But if you want to use one account to generate, then you have to try premium where you need to pay a certain amount of money. All right, so this is the website. I will put on the website below so that you can click the link to generate your own puzzle for your students. Now, so the first thing to do is to write the title. So the title for my will be a uh, topic on transport system in plants. And the target audience is set three NA biology. Okay. So how, what, how you use the generator here? So you click the answer first, followed by the question. Okay, normally for crossword puzzle, you have uh, one word answer and you have the question so that the students could um, use the question to identify the words. The limitation for crossword puzzle is, number one, it not, it's not suitable for sentences. It's only suitable for one word answer. Number two, you can't really develop student competencies in answering question technique. So it's more like remembering the fine details, lah, like remembering the spelling uh, of certain words. It will help more in MCQ, actually. Um, but you see, for set three and A N level, right, out of 50 marks, 20 marks is MCQ. So if the student have performed very well in biology uh, MCQ session, they scored 20 out of 20, they just need another five more marks to pass the paper. Yeah, for structure. So they can get 20 for MCQ, five out of 30 for structure, and they still pass the paper. Yeah, that's the good thing about N-level. The standard is quite achievable like, compared to O-level. Now, um, so I'm going to start. I just do some. So you can fast forward the video if you find it very boring. Okay, so you have silent. That's the first word I'm trying to choose. So how do I... So I put a comma after the word, then I type the, um, the question that will lead student to fill in the word xylem. I will say uh, the tissue in the plant, but try not to have it too long because of the lack of space. Lah. That <coughs> uh, transports water and mineral salts from roots to leaf, to stem, and leaf stems. Okay. Now the next one definitely is flowen. Flowen is the tissue in plant. So make sure you have a comma after your answer. Tissue in plant that transports sucrose and amino acids from leaf to other parts of the plant. All right, the next one I will choose translocation. Okay, translocation. Um, 
the process of the in trans in transporting food substances in Loewen. Okay, then the next one I will say. Okay, vascular. Can't you can't? I don't find it very. So if let's say you have a stretch of words, right? But it's more than one word, you see. So you can do something like that. You have a blank and then put vascular bundle in uh, consists of. It's a very easy crossword puzzle because it's not meant for the high ability student. They will find it very boring. It's more for the very low ability. So this student of mine actually has been feeling signs consistently. La. So she needs a lot of motivation to feel encouraged. And she has issues remembering definitions and spelling. Very big issue. Okay. Um, okay. So I also take this opportunity to revise previously learned concept. La. Water enters the root hair by this process. Something like that. Yeah. So it's important that they uh, recall some concepts from previous topic. Okay. Uh, active. I'm going to talk about active transport. Uh, active, you know, <laughs> should be a blank, right? Is the process that requires energy from respiration mm. where mm. is a process what is the process that energy from respiration for root hair to absorb um mineral salts against concentration gradient. Okay, this is something they learned in chapter three under diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. Okay, then we have the next one, transpiration. Transpiration is, it is the loss of water vapor from the plant Mainly through stomata. Okay. Mainly through stomata. Mm. Then the next one will be transpiration pool. The word pool. Transpiration, transpiration pool. Transpiration pool is the force. I try to include all the important keywords for the topic. La, that draws. So at the same time, when she reads the question she's also re revising at the same time yeah it's just it's i'm still trying out this method to assess whether it's really helpful for the very very weak students that generate that draws whole column water from roots to the leaf when water Causing water potential of cells to be lower than xylem vessels with water passing from xylem vessels into mesosphere by osmosis. Okay, the next one. Uh, okay. Um, maybe I'll talk about mm, the factors affecting the rate of transpiration. Maybe I can say mm, humidity. Mm, what if I put on there just one of this la, of the air uh, 
affects <laughs> real transpiration. So I put it the high the more humid the air outside. So I give her some hint also. Lah. The greater the concentration gradient. Hence, water vapor diffuse slower because when the air is more humid, diffuse slower out of the leaf, slower the rate of transpiration. Okay, I think that's about it. Maybe one more is um. Translocation was mentioned already, right? Translocation. Pool. Okay. The maybe last one is lightning. The wall of xylon vessel is thick. Maybe lignify. Is thick. Yeah, should be capital letter. Try to have capital letter for each starting sentence. La. Is thick. Linify walls to prevent collapse of it, of the vessel. The wall, I think, can just. Xylem vessel. Okay. Then after that, after you are done, right, you can just simply click create. Then they will, let's say if you don't like this because the words coming out, you can scramble it again until, until you are satisfied with the list. Keep on scrambling. So it's a bit, so it, I noticed that you see there's too much words here. So maybe I want to cut short so that you won't, you know, exit the given space so the word is process is yeah a bit too long in transporting food substances process maybe i take out the word the the process then i create again and I scramble okay so there's still a limit lah. so i must try to in transporting in transport Yep. Yep. Still have this. Maybe the 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 this part can re uh can shorten this the humidity. Okay, create again. Ah, now better. So if you're okay with this arrangement, right? And you notice that okay, here it says too much words here, you can cut short. Maybe just put set three and a transport system implant. Or just put the chapter transport implants. Make it shorter. Yeah. And then you, after you are done, go check the preview the worksheet here. You can enlarge your screen to see how it looks like before you download the worksheet. And the answer key is in the next tab. Yeah. Then you can check again whether the spelling is correct before you print. This into you start downloading this. I mean, dignify transpiration, fluent humidity, translocation. Okay, so chat do a double check because it's bad if there's a mistake. Lah. So you download worksheet. Oh, this is the problem. So when you have encountered this problem, or because I've used this account, right. So what I'm going to do is I'll just copy and I will sign up and log in with another account. So I can sign it with my Google with another account. So let's say uh, 
enter and just click here and then you can just copy and paste this uh, transport implant maybe that will do lah. I won't put the set 3 NA bio lah. that's a sample and then check through the thing again just now I just cut copy and paste lah. and then I download the worksheet and download the answer key. Okay. And then I will show you how it look like in PDF. Okay, let me open up the file first. And then I will show you. So this is how it look like. Yep. Okay, so that's about it. Hope it helps you. Thank you.